right everybody this is a video tutorial on how to mod podge a picture to a blank um, this is the what it looks like the finished product all you need is a pair of scissors um, a little credit card um, license something to rub the bubbles out with paintbrush mod podge stain and a flat I mean, anything with a flat edge, but here's our ruler that we'll be using. Okay. Um, I ordered the picture from the Walmart Photo Lab. Um, anything that's big like this, you need a decent amount of pixels. Uh, this one requires about two to 3,000 pixels or 300 DPI. You can check that in your um, settings on the picture. <laughs> You're also going to need a pencil. So what you do, this is pencil. <laughs> this is my blank. Um, I cut and sanded three boards and put them together on the back. Those are my slats. These slats are actually a four by eight piece of plywood, thin, thin piece of plywood that I cut into two inch strips. That's four foot by eight foot piece of plywood. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so once you get that made, you place your picture roughly where you want to put it. And that looks about right to me. So I'm going to mark my edges. I'm going to mark one right here, a centimeter from the crack, and another centimeter from the crack. And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And then I'm going to come down here and do it again. And then you get your ruler. Do that here. Take it off the board and come over here and draw my lines. This is a 12 by 18 picture, and it cost eight dollars on the Walmart website. Now that we got our measurements done, we're going to carefully cut the lines as straight as we can. Trying to work me like a dog. And the out. light reflection on the picture will help you, will help show the pencil line. can make your reference lines just to give you an idea of where your thing is. And here goes the magic. Okay, so you stick the back of it to the board. And you want to get it as close to your line as possible. Well, that is the point of putting a reference line. Well, I'm talking about this crack. This is what I'm talking about. She said crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to scrape out bubbles. When I'm done with this, we're going to go back and sand the edges. I thought you were supposed to peel that up and this picture sticks to it. Mm -mm. Are you cheating? You can maneuver it for a second before it dries, but I think I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Don't worry about her eye being cut out and not lining up. It all falls in place, don't worry. It is lined up. No, it's not. <laughs> Cousins make dozens. I'm a smart fella, ain't I? This 
this video is actually for your cousin, Whitney Shirell. Mm -hmm. She was wanting to know how to do one. So I said, hey, I have an order. I'll make Sorry, I lied. Sue me. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got my picture on here and I let it dry for a minute or two, I kind of blow dry it with my blow dryer to speed up the process. I'm fixing to sand my edges with my orbital sander. This part is a little bit of a work of art. You don't want to take off too much or too less. And what too you less. take off, that's <laughs> what you take off, you can't put back. So you got kind of have to, you know. You don't want to take off too much. Just hit it lightly. Don't mind the noise of the sander. take that off. We're going to leave that there and then we'll Basically, when you're sanding, you take the straight edge off yep. to blend it in and make it look like it's part of the board. Yeah, that's what you're doing. And you could well, I'm gonna sand. take off corners if you want and take make it look my, like it's old and ancient. I'm and gonna take my pencil marks off. Thank me later. <clears throat> so you, when you stain it, you can hit the side of the paper or you can avoid it. the paper will suck up the stain but the so, picture won't question some of you are probably asking why can't you stain it first and then do the picture will the glue stick yeah you can I just choose not to because I rush and when I stain it I I have had projects where I stained it first and then I put the picture on too soon and the stain bled through the picture as long as you let it dry it'll be fine I'm just an impatient person yes she is I agree what the very edge of it Uh, it actually looks pretty good. It looks like a picture frame. Um, get um, uh, Mod Podge in my picture first because I don't want the stain to pull over into the picture. Even though I did let it dry, I still don't want to take the chance. 